So today we'll have a look at the bridge sequencer from the Rainbows collection from Path Set. Um, I have already a video about the grid sequencer. Um, so if you are interested, you can check it out. And there are two more sequencers to explore in this collection. Um, but today we will concentrate on bridge because it's really an interesting sequencer that can um, that you can use to create all sorts of different interesting results really quickly and in a fun way. Um, right, so I already have it running. You can see there is one row already running and the voice itself will be um, Opolus going through the tap dancer delay from um, flag. So let me zoom in on bridge for a second. Right, and basically what we have, if I connect this to the gate and the CV, right, we have a series of uh, steps and we can change the notes um, by clicking them. By the way, I will not show you everything about the sequencer because some things are um, I already showed in the um, grid video, so um, you can check it out, but everything is really intuitive and easy. So basically you click the notes, right, and you can change the values. Right, if I right click the notes, I can set uh, the notes from the scale, I can set any note also outside the scale, I can randomize the notes, I can set the scale also custom scales and change the root note. Right, but let's stay with this uh, sequence, we can also change the length, so here for example, let's say I will go with 12 steps. Right, so it will play 8 and then it will go backwards for more. Right, and now the fun begins here with the bridges. So between, between the rows, we have different things that we can add to the sequence, right? So I can either click and toggle between them or I can right click between each and every step, right? And see the different bridges. So now it's set to none. If I set it to skip, it will skip this step. Right, this step will not play. Right, let's go to another one, um, let's say this one here, if I right click and we have mute, it will play it, but it will not play it, it will uh, calculate it, but it will mute it. Right, basically not sending out any gates. Right, let's go with this one here, then we have um, ratchet, which will create this. And in the right click menu, we can change the speed. So if I change this to health notes, for example. Right. And then let's say here we have also borrow, which will borrow this step from the second row. Right, so if I change this to something else, let's say, uh, let's say C A4. Right, so now instead of playing this step, it will play from the second row. Right, let's go to another step. Then we have swap, so it will swap. It will swap the uh, steps from the second row, right? Or in this case, it's the second row. If I change this, for example, to D5. You see, now it's D5 is here. Now D5 is here. Oh, I didn't know what to do. Right, and already you can hear the interesting sequence with the variation we get. Right, and this was really easy, uh, um, but there is another bridge that is also quite, quite interesting. Um, let's do this from the last note. We have jump, so basically on this step it will jump to the second row. So now it will play the second row, and here again I can add all of those different um, um, different bridges. So first of all, let's set, for example, some notes, maybe something like this. Right, and here I can add, for example, another ratchet. and maybe a few more mutes. 
Right, I can make this also longer, let's say 10 steps. Listen to this nice sequence. Right, I can also uh, say, for example, that here it can borrow the note. Now this is all nice and everything, um, right? So we have something stable and repetitive, but we have for each of these uh, of those bridges, for each of the rows of bridges, actually, we have also probability, right? So sometimes it will ratchet, sometimes it will borrow the notes, sometimes it will move to the next row and so on, right? So here, for example, let's say probability of 72%, and here of about 63, let's say. And let's listen to this for a second. Right, so it's still very stable and repetitive, but there is lots and lots of variation because sometimes it will change the notes, borrow them, switch them, switch to different rows. Sometimes it will mute notes, sometimes it will skip steps. Right, so, so it was so easy to create this sequence and it's full of variation, it's full of, um, of um, all sorts of different movements in the notes there are cv inputs for the for the sequence length for the different rows cv inputs for the probability right there is also um from which row you want the sequence to start when you reset it of course also with cv inputs end of cycle output ratchet output that will output a gate whenever it's ratcheting gate output when it's muting also this i show in the grid video in the right click menu again you can randomize the notes you can randomize and initialize the bridges set the scales the root notes so if i change this for example to g now right so now the root note will be g you can change the range ratchet speed the color of the cursor if I make it black for example and then there are the expanders that I will show you in a second and um, here I have more voices I have here a bass again sequenced by the bridge some variation to it. There are also hi-hats coming from Tremor 2. And here I have another sequence with bridge. You can see it's a bit more, um, maybe not a bit more complex, but it's a bit different with lots of uh, probability. Sometimes it will switch, sometimes not. It's a sort of a solo line, I guess. voice itself is basal going through some delay So now I want to show you the expanders. Again, I show the expanders also in the grid video, but I want to show you them also here because they are quite, quite fun. And this is such a cool idea, right? So here I have um, the bridge sequence in the right click menu. I can add the expander. We have two expanders. I will start with the playhead expander. So if I click it, it will add this expander. And basically now it will um, add four playheads that you can use. So instead of one, gate and cv and the other features of course you have four each one with an individual clock and reset input right that you can use for multiple voices with one 
sequencer and this will work the same with the other sequencers in this collection the expanders are available for all of them right so let's have a look at what we can do so here i have a clock i'm going to send one clock to the clock input of the first um, playhead you can see already it's playing this it's moving the sequence this will be the fm operator let's say right so this is the sequence there is also one bridge here that will borrow the note of course with probability right now you can use a different clock here i have another clock this one is multiplied by two for the second playhead let me change this maybe to black so it's better seen right so you see now this is the second playhead right with a different sequence and it has 10 steps and this will be kick all from the faco right and i have here another clock this one is multiplied by four for the third sequence the third playhead again with bridges and probability this is quite amazing this will go to the plats oscillator right here we have only seven steps again with probability you see sometimes it will borrow the note sometimes it will switch the note and again you have the end of cycle the ratchet gate output and the mute gate output that you can use of course this is available also on each and every playhead man this is amazing i want to show you the second playhead which is the randomizer playhead right the randomizer playhead the expander sorry right it will look like this let me just solo this voice this is neoni again going through some delay with the tap dancer right and basically with the randomizer expander we can choose the different things we want to randomize inside of bridge so if I click and hold the buttons, right, it goes in this sub-menu that then I can turn off and on the things that I want to randomize, right? If it's turned on, it will be randomized. If it's turned off, it will not be randomized, right? So let's say that I want just uh, three steps and maybe let's say two bridges, right? So now whenever I click this button, you can see only those parameters, only those aspects of the sequencer are being randomized. Maybe I will do this also for the lower sequence where it's running now. Right, so now if I maybe use a clock division, eh, let's say a clock division of 8 to trigger this button, it will randomize only those things. Right, I can have another one. Let's say in this case I want to randomize um, let's say just bridges actually what right? one two three maybe here and maybe there right just to add more movement you see now just they will be randomized and i can use another clock division so again <laughs> such a cool way to add movement and variation to a sequence and everything is really easy and intuitive right let me unmute all the other voices so again this is part of a bigger collection with four sequencers all of them are working with the expanders all of them are unique in their own way again go have a look at the grid video i did And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this video, cheers!